Hello and welcome to Podcast Like It's 1999, the podcast where we talk about the films of 1999 from a dinner table enjoying a perfectly normal pastry here in 2021. I'm one of your hosts, Kenny Nybart. And I'm Phyllis Gove. And with us again is the the pod whisperer, the <laughs> the guest, the guest who made it all right to change our opinions. Mm-hmm. Rochelle Lefebvre, thank you for coming back. So excited to have you. So, so excited to be here. I don't know how you're going to change my opinion on, uh, on this one unless you change it downwards. Yeah. Ah, this because I'm I afraid love, I cannot do. I loved Titus uh, and it was the best and it was the most exciting uh, film I've watched uh, in 2021, I think. Um, what a fucking thrill. Kenny Wait, sent me did a you see it originally in I've 1999 seen, or any I've never time. seen it. I've never seen the play. I've never read the play. I had no uh, prior knowledge of the play. And 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 I'm not a like I'm not a Shakespeare noob. Like I'm a Shakespeare person. I you know took several Shakespeare classes in college, but for whatever I, I know the reason. No one wants to read fucking Titus Andronicus. So um, and no one wants to teach fucking Titus Andronicus. No, yes, no one wants to be <laughs> no one wants to be near it. So like it's it is one of those uh plays that unless you kind of seek it out on your own uh it can pass you by which it did with me and on top of that like you alluded to a show i think in an email it is his longest play it does uh, wait i looked it up hamlet is actually i think his longest play oh well Hamlet's so this is like second it. longest this is like it comes close it ranks it close. so it's 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 up there with with hamlet um it's, uh, it's also not it, like even Shakespeare people like Shakespeare aficionados or what have you don't rank it particularly high in his work when everything yeah, is said yeah. and done. Not not that not that I didn't love this movie and that I don't think the play is good. I just think I think that there are purists that feel as though this movie this this play was him kind of I don't know doing something that they didn't think was all that interesting at the time. It's a far know. less romantic version of Boy Gets Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes, I would I would agree with you. It is not a romantic movie. It's he doesn't have any. Well, we'll we'll save. Let's yeah, keyword yeah, romance. Yeah. We'll go back there. Ro- <laughs> yeah, keyword but, uh, romance. But I was. Uh, and the other thing is, I was not particularly looking forward to this one. Um, right. It, it looked like homework, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not. It is. It is a breezy two hours and forty five minutes. <laughs> No. But truly, I, I actually do agree with you, Kenny. I, I saw I saw this film in 99 in the theater, and I remember um, being pretty blown away by it. I, I, I quickly bought the DVDs when they came out, uh, and and I was I thought it was great. Um, but I have not seen it since. So I was like, oh, right, this movie's almost three hours long. How's this going to hold up? You know, all of that. Uh, it moves. Like, it does not feel like it's almost three hours long. Um, part of it being the performances and obviously it's a, it's a, you know, incredibly well-made movie, but just like it moves. Yeah. It also has, um, uh, it has, I I can't, I can't think of another one right now. And you guys are are way bigger movie buffs and nerds in the most reverential way. I use that word, um, uh, about films. So you might be able to think of one, but, um, I can't think of a movie this long, um, that didn't, that doesn't have like a stopping place where you're like, Oh, I'll watch the rest tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. This seems like a good place to go to the bathroom. And the reason that I know this is because I tried really hard to turn it <laughs> off because I have these young kids who have the fucking nerve to wake up so early in the morning. Right. And I started it at eight 30 at night. And I was like, well, I'll just watch half and I'll watch the other half tomorrow. And there was no point in this film where I was like, this feels like I could go to sleep now. This feels, yeah, like, yeah, but, <laughs> this feels I also, like I could get a good night's sleep and then watch the rest tomorrow. So I just watched the whole thing through. I couldn't stop. I do. It should be said. Uh, I got a panicked phone call from Rochelle when she pressed <laughs> play on this doc, which which was amazing. Uh, she she calls me and she's like, I pressed play, but I don't know if this is the right movie. And I was like, what do you mean? What's And she's like, well, there's like a kid and he's playing with action figures in a yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I, was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's how it starts. She was like, oh, okay. It was okay. like a weird <laughs> 80s. Yeah, it was like, it started like a weird 80s dystopian sea yeah. movie. Like, yeah. it, and then and a bunch I had, of people I, in a, in a coliseum and you're just like, what? Yeah, what? And great. I saw it yeah. originally. 
Um, and so, uh, and, and, and loved it and thought that I remembered it. And I had completely <laughs> forgotten the device of the like anachronistic yeah, young yeah. Lucius. I had yeah. totally forgotten about that. And I, I did, I, I panicked and I also only had those one or two nights to watch it and then no other time <laughs> scheduled. It's not like a movie you yeah. could just kind of slot, yeah. slot in, um, yep. in the middle of the day. It so yeah, great. so I freaked out. It I didn't fantastic. remember. It I the feel like it's the reveal. It's I the wrong know, movie. <laughs> I thought it was the wrong movie too, because it looks like something out of uh like a like Pink Floyd the Wall video. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, it looks yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, out of like yeah. that uh that I, I hate Mondays video, you know the yes, song? Sure, sure. Um one of those British it does those British it does. We're, yeah. we're gonna get bombed again uh movies. Yep. Um, but and the guy was, who comes in and grabs him out of the kitchen looks like yep. a lost, uh, like looks like a lost extra from like Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. Totally, it looks like Bane or, or something. Yeah. It felt like a Brazil <laughs> character. It's, it, it has that kind of crazy <laughs> Gilliam energy too. Totally. Like, what is happening? And then he holds him yep. up, and yep. yeah. And then it, and then you get a really, I would, I would argue, perhaps too long credit sequence of of the various soldiers. Uh, I, I, I've become. Oh, I don't sort agree of, with you. I, I just. I mean, I, 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 I love the movie too, but I, I just thought it was, there's, there's two moments. It's ironically the bookends of the film where it does feel as though you could have shaved off about a minute or two from a child walking into the, into the sunset for what feels like eternity. And also <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, the, the credit sequence, which, you know, I like credit sequence. So I have, wait, I have, I have thoughts about that. I have yeah. thoughts about everything. Um, <laughs> thoughts as you about should, that. we expect nothing so, yeah. less. Yeah, so the beginning and the end where you feel like you could shave off like a minute and a half on each end, right? And get and get two minutes and, you know, 40 yeah. whatever minutes sure, instead of sure. two hours and 40 whatever minutes. Um, That's right, yeah. So uh, I thought about that because I had that instinct too. And it was interesting. I had two things. Well, I had One, I had the instinct of like, this is going on for too long. And then I also had a voice in my head that was like, you're wrong, Rochelle, <laughs> you're wrong. Go sit in the me. corner until you know why you're wrong. It was yeah. Kenny. And um, was Kenny. and and I, I think I figured it out, which is, as we know, Julie Taymor, like the theatrical, right? And mm -hmm. she's honoring the theater. And I think that there was a couple of things. Number one, it isn't soldiers marching, it's dance. It's choreography. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful mm -hmm. choreography. And once I gave over to the idea that a film needs to, needs to earn my butt still in my seat, Every second, theater doesn't have that sort of pretense, right? Because in film, you do other things. You eat popcorn. If you're at home, you can go to the bathroom. Yeah. They're like these other activities. Theater is where you sit your ass down and you shut up, which note to people, which is what movies should be as well. If you go out in public to a sure. film, please do that. Um, but there's an expectation that you just want whatever is being offered, Right, it's not like oh, this is like I'm I'm on my couch for two ex two extra minutes here. So I love the choreography element of it, and then I think the end is it was so long, but I needed to catch my breath. I needed to let the movie settle, and I just did that while the movie was still going. Instead of turning it off and doing that on my way to the refrigerator for my you know next meal, because now it's been three hours. Mm -hmm. I think that's completely completely fair, and and uh, you know it it, it was just. I, as I'm speaking more to the ending than the beginning, because I agree with you, the choreography is beautiful. Um, right. it, it really highlights as well. Um, it's it's a computer generated effect on top of everything. So you're just sort of like yes. you're you're really soaking in the technical, uh, not great technical sort of aspect of right. what you're watching. So it's just sort of like I I, I don't disagree Maybe with you. Maybe you I'm, were. I'm sorry. I wasn't. Uh, okay. I mean, I was. You know, because I was. I. I I sent Phil a, sh a shot of my face. It was face amazing. At the end of the movie. So it was an amazing photo. Because I really, that was my genuine face. And then I, I held yeah, it. I believe you. I and then I held you. it so I can take a picture of it and send it to you. Yeah, I, I want to see it. I, I'm going to show it's, it to you. I needed really time great. for my face to, to die down. I needed at least five to 10 minutes.